What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So guys I am back with another video and in previous video we study about sets, introduction, the meaning of the word well defined and elements and the two types of symbols which are belongs to symbol and non belongs to symbol. In today's video we are going to study that a set can be represented by how many methods. So a set can be represented by three methods. The first method is the descriptive method. The second method is the roster or tabular method. And the third method is the set builder method. Okay. So first we will study the first method which is the descriptive method. Okay. So we will study the descriptive method. First we will study the descriptive method. In descriptive method the elements of the set are stated in words okay so i will write the definition here the small definition the elements are stated are stated in words okay so are stated in words. Now, now, like we can take an example. Um, the set of rivers in India. The question is, the set of rivers, rivers in India. No. Now we have to write it in words. So how we will write here? We will write like this. We will write it in words. So for we will write like this. We will write all rivers in all rivers in India. Because we don't know which about which river they are talking. So we will write all rivers in India. Now I have now I have taken the example also and I have written the definition also of the first method descriptive method. Okay, so now I hope that you are clear with the descriptive method. So let's move towards the second method which is the roster or tabular method. Okay, so first I will erase this and then I will tell you about the roster or tabular method. This is the second method. The second method is the roster or tabular. Okay. Now roster or tabular method. In, in the roster or tabular method, the elements are written inside the pair of curly brackets and they are separated by commas. Okay. So anything means that the elements, the elements of a set are written inside the pair of curly brackets which are made like this and are sep and each of the number or letter is separated by commas like we can take the example the first five odd numbers okay so first we will write um, first we will write the definition and, and there and then we will take the example so the definition is the the elements are written inside the curly brackets the curly brackets and are separated by commas okay so the definition is the elements are written inside the pair of inside the curly brackets and are separated by commas okay so now i hope that you are clear with the definition now we should take an example to clear to to more clear with our to be clear with roster or tabular method. 
So I will erase this definition and take an example here. Now, now we will take an example. So the question will be the first five odd number. So first five odd number. Okay. So the first five odd number. What are the first five odd numbers? How we will write it in roster or tabular method? So first we will put the braces. It means the curly brackets. Okay. So first we will put the curly brackets. Okay. Sorry. Okay, first we have put the curly bracket. Now we will write the each number and then we will separate, separate it by commas. The first five odd numbers. So the first odd number is one. And then after each number we will put commas to separate two numbers. Now the second odd number three. Then we will put the comma. Then we will write five. Then we will put comma. Then we will write seven and then we will put comma. Now we have written the first five odd numbers. Now our, our, our solution is ready. So now we will close it by the this curly bracket. Okay. So now we have taken the example also. Now I will tell you the five rules of the roster or tabular method. They are the most important rule of roster or tabular method. So you should learn them easily very. They are very easy and you will learn them very easily also. The first rule is that the set is always written in capital letter. Okay. So like we, first I will write the definition here. The set is always is always written in In capital okay so the set is always written in capital now we have taken an example the first five odd number so how we will write it we will write a is equal to a is equal to and we will write one comma three comma five comma 7 comma 9 okay now now this is the set okay these are the elements and they are making up the set a so this set a is always written in capital letter so we have written a in capital letter so it means that we are following the first rule okay so we are following the first rule now now i will tell you the second rule okay The second rule you know. The second rule is that the elements are always written inside curly brackets and are separated by commas. So I will so I will not write this rule because I have told because I have told you I because I have told this rule earlier also. So this they are inside the pair of curly brackets. So it is curly curly. Curly brackets. And each number is separated by commas. So this is called commas. Okay. So now, now we are clear with the second rule also. Now what is the third rule? The third rule is that the third rule is that if the elements are are, are alphabets, then they will always be written in small letters. Okay. So I will write the third rule because I have not told you this rule. So the elements are, I will write it here, if, if the elements are alpha, alphabets, alphabets, then they will always be written in small small letter okay so 
the if the elements are alphabets then they will always be written in small letter like if we write here a now now i write it here a and then b then c then d and then e okay now they are alphabets so what is the third rule if the third rule is that if the elements they are the elements so if the elements are alphabets so they are alphabets also so they will always be written in small letter so we have written b in small letter a also in small letter c also d also and e also in small letter okay so this was the third rule that the alphabets if the alphabets are elements then they will always be written in small letter okay so now you are clear with the third rule also now i will tell you the fourth rule okay Now the fourth. The fourth is that the elements can be written in any order. Okay. So the fourth rule is that the ele the elements can be written in any order. Okay, so the elements can be written in any order. Like if we have to write A B C D. Okay, and and how we write how we will write? We write like this E C D A B. Okay, so what was the third rule? The, what was the fourth rule? The fourth rule was that the elements can be written in any order. So we can write A B C D E in any order. We can write C first, E first, or D first, or A first, or B first. Okay, they will always be the same. So the fourth fourth rule is that the elements can be written in any order. They will be the same. Okay. Now, now the fifth and the last rule is that I will tell you. It is a very important rule. Okay. So the fifth and the last rule is that the repetition is not done while listing the elements. Okay. So I will tell you the meaning of this also. So the repetition. Repetition is that we will not repeat any letter when we are listing the elements. So while we are writing the elements, we will not repeat any letter. Okay. So repetition is. not while listing okay so the repetition is not done while listing the element okay now we we have to write the spelling of coffee okay so the set like the question is given the set of letters in the word coffee in the word coffee f is coming two times so we will write it only one time because the fifth rule is that repetition is not done while listing the element so how we will write the spelling of coffee we will write c we will write o and there are two f so we will write only one f and and there are two e also so we will write only one e because we will not repeat any alphabet okay. so i will write e also here okay so now this becomes the element of so this becomes the set of elements in the letter in the in the alphabet in the word coffee okay so now you are clear with the five rules i have told you so now i will i will tell you the third method through which a set can be represented okay so the third rule i will tell you the third rule. okay so you can write see it say the third rule or third method so the third method is the set builder method okay so the set builder method okay so the set builder method in the set builder method the elements all the elements which are there in a in a set 
possess a single property okay so they all possess a single property to become a member of that set and they also satisfy the condition which is given to them okay so i will write the definition of the set builder method okay so the set builder method definition is that the elements okay so the elements elements possess possess a single property to become a member of that set set is find the condition okay so set is find the condition so now we know what is set builder method the set builder method in set builder method the all the elements all the elements possess a single properties okay so the all elements which are there in a set possess a single property to become a member of that set and they also satisfy the condition which is given to them okay so now i will tell you some examples also so that you are clear with the set builder method also which is the last method now now how we write anything any anything in set builder form first we put braces okay and then we put x x and then this vertical line or column is called is called such that okay so this is called such that okay so x such that x okay so like this we write all anything in set builder method like there is a question given there is a question is given that the set of rivers in india this this example we have done in in the descriptive method also and then this we will do the uh, this the same question we will do the set builder form set builder method also so now the set of rivers in india so how will you write it in set builder method that i will tell you so first we will write x such that x so the question is the set of rivers in india so we will write x such that x is a river in india because we don't know which river they are talking about in the question so how we will write we will write x such that x is a river in india so we write like this in the set builder form so now i hope that you are clear with the three methods through which a set can be represented so bye bye guys in this video this much only we will meet in next video so if you have any doubt related to my video then you can comment me here on youtube or you can join my discord server whose link is given in the description so in this video this much only so bye guys